Hey guys, um, today for another video up here in Silver Bay, Minnesota, uh, we are up at a scenic overlook, um, as you can see there, there's a little sign there, and, um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, it's up by this tower, a really cool tower actually. Uh, I mean, it's just a radio tower, but it's it's just tall, and you can see it down from the road, and it's up on a huge hill. And there's a deck up out here, or, I don't know, I guess you could call it a deck, uh, that, which is the scenic overlook, overlooking these mines here, so I'll go show you that now. So we're up on this hill over this uh, iron ore mining, I guess you could say, plant. Big piles of iron ore up there. Cool stuff. I don't know what those are, but those are for something. And there's a little coal train, or actually, <laughs> coal train. Um, an ore train right there, going into this plant right here. And yeah, it's a pretty cool view from up here, so uh, let's hide the geocache. And I know that the uh, the geocache is only a little micro for these little guys that I put in my pipe geocaches. Um, but people really have to realize how the geocache is. It's not about finding the cache. I mean, you know, finding the cache is always fun. But it's about the adventure to the cache and where the cache takes you. Like, especially since this is a really great view up here. And, um, yeah, it's just amazing up here. Let's go find a spot for this geocache. Now I actually didn't notice this earlier, but there is a, uh, a different geocache up here. Somebody had the same exact idea as me, and it's nearby, so I guess we can go find that one, and then we'll see if we can get far enough away, the 528 feet needed to be between geocaches, and we'll see if we can get far enough away to hide mine, but if not, then this will be a cool find anyways. Alright, so... Um, they had the exact same idea as me, as you can see, the cache is right here, under this rock, it's actually pretty cool, I'll set mine over here, we'll see if we can get far enough away to hide this one, I'm not sure if we will be able to, but either way, this is a cool find up here, log book, and it's kind of wet inside, then bunch of other swag. Cool cash. Now let's go see if we can find a place for mine where it's going to be far enough away from this. I'm not sure, but we'll see if we can make it possible. So after figuring out that that uh, cash owner had to be a big copier, <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's fine. It was a really good spot and he got it first. But we found this uh, gravel trail that goes through the woods out here. Uh, it's actually really kind of scenic, um, and it goes over, I already saw, I was climbing on some rocks over here, I already, I already saw that um, it goes over to another uh, kind of deck thing, that's just another scenic overlook, and uh, yeah, so let's see if we can find a spot over there for my cache. See you there. So I guess what, this one's the lake view. Here's the plant view which is the very first one where the first geocache was and that was where you could see the iron ore plant this is the lake view I guess where you can see the lake really well and then there's a city view so maybe I can actually possibly get one geocache here and one geocache here but we'll have to see so yeah let's go hide this first one at the lake view site
All right, so as you saw, there's some signs up there on the deck that kind of gave you some facts about Lake Superior and how all this iron ore and stuff works, like the mining company over there. And, but yeah, now let's hide this geocache. I think I found a pretty good spot, actually. Uh, the only problem with it might be that um, water will get here. It's right in here. But I'm not like too worried about it because it has a really good rubber gasket here. And yeah, so let's like put it right here. So we came to the city view one and I was looking around for a place to hide a geocache, even though we're not far enough away from the one that I just hid. And I found up under here, um, a uh, bag with an envelope in it and a letter which my sister is currently reading. God, it's like five pages long. Five pages long, apparently. Looks like a love letter. Ooh. But yeah, it's almost like a scavenger hunt type thing, it seemed, that a guy was trying to do for his girlfriend. I don't know. I'm just going to replace it back as I found it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So this has been a really interesting video. <laughs> Um, gonna hide a geocache, and then somebody had already put one of theirs there. Um, then I went and hit a geocache, and we learned, if you paused and read those pictures, uh, it said over a hundred ships have been, over a hundred shipwrecks have happened in Lake Superior. Um, and then there's those two that they were talking about, that happened, like, right out, right off the shore from where we are right now. And, um... Yeah, so we hit that geocache, we learned some stuff about Lake Superior, and then, third, something that cool that happened in this video, was we found that little letter, apparently, my sister read it, she said that it was a guy, I think, just writing about him and his girlfriend broke up, and he's just letting his feelings out, and he, I guess, came and put it up under that deck, and it seems to have stayed there, it was dated 4-22-2014, so it's been there almost two months now. I'm not sure. I don't know how many people would have read it, like found it. If there's geocaches here looking for a place to hide one of their geocaches, they may have found it, just like me. But yeah, so that was a really interesting video, in my opinion. I mean, I got another geocache hidden, and yeah. So if you enjoyed that video, it was kind of ironic, not ironic. It was just interesting, weird stuff. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are into geocaching and like watching some videos of finds and hides and how-tos, please subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, it would really help me out. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you guys next time.